Hi guys, um, today I'm just going to talk about how to remove chalk marker from the chalkboard. This is a manufactured chalkboard um, and this is the chalk ink pen that I mentioned in this post. This is the fine tip and it's my favorite. I love it. I use it for everything. Um, so before I start, this is just something I've previously done and I need to reuse the chalkboard. So I'm going to start with my sponge. I don't ever use the scrubby part, I always use the soft part, and it just makes it so that you don't ruin your chalkboard. So first I'm just going to get it wet, and um, it doesn't matter if the water's hot or cold. I just go over the writing, kind of lightly, so that it can soak up, and it starts to get soft so that I'll be able to scrub it off. So I just go over that with some water, and then I get my Comet. And this is the Comet with bleach. I like this in case I'm using any um, colored chalk markers because it helps pull that color off of the board, the bleach specifically. I've used other kinds and they also work, but this is my favorite. So you just sprinkle it over the board like this. There's no science to it, just kind of simple. And then I kind of make sure my sponge is wet, but not soaking wet. And um, I just go over it. And the comet actually acts as the um, exfoliant to get the chalk marker up. So this chalk marker has actually been on here for a while. So I might have to scrub this twice, but you'll see that it's starting to come off. So the chalk board has a grain to it really slight but the grain is going this way and so you'll be able to probably get more off if you go with the grain and that's good to remember when you have like pencil underneath and don't be scared to add pressure it doesn't hurt your chalkboard or lift the chalk board itself off it just um, helps with the pulling up of the chalk pen and if you were to scrub really hard with the the hard scrubby side of the chalk or of the sponge it will definitely ruin your chalkboard it ends up pulling off the blackboard and you don't want that to happen so I'm just scrubbing still and if the chalk paint is fresher like you just recently wrote it it's gonna come off a lot easier so now I'm just rinsing my sponge out and I'm going to just wipe up some of this, these suds to see if I need to scrub anywhere else. And I can see that I have a couple spots that I want to go over again. So I'm just going to, I can see that there's like a little bit of writing right here. And I think that's really the only spot. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. I'm gonna make my um, sponge not super wet so that the um, comet will scrub more. And then you just add pressure and it's already up. So I'm gonna just go over the board one more time. And then you're gonna wipe off as many suds as you can. It's kind of hard to get the soap suds off. Then you'll get some paper towel and get it wet. And this will just help get the remaining suds off. And then I get a dry paper towel and I just dry that off. And then if you have anything left over, you don't really need to like, sometimes I get streaks from the Comet and I just use Windex to wipe the whole board off one more time before I start writing to make sure that the board is even. And then you can see that it will dry and the whole thing will be cleaned off and ready for new art. I hope that this helped you guys out being able to see it. Um, if you have any questions, just comment or send me a message. Hope you have a good day.